Hey, I'm Austin. We're here today in New York City shooting the I'd Rather Go Naked Than Wear Fur campaign. And I always like to go naked. I'm a big advocate for anti-fur. It's just horrendous the way that they treat these animals. And it happens on a daily basis all over the world. And it just needs to stop. You know, there's so many different alternatives and fur is just, you know, being a label whore. It's like, oh, look at my mink coat. And that's just not important. You know, your personality is what really needs to shine through, not what you're wearing on your back. Sat down with Mark Jacobs and asked him, you know, why do you use fur? It's just, it's not necessary anymore. He, he really doesn't have an answer. I find it shocking that any designer, male, female, gay or straight, would use fur. I mean, it's just about compassion. Hi, I'm Michael Musto. I'm the columnist from The Village Voice. I'm here at the PETA campaign. PETA has stayed relevant and in the headlines for decades now, and that's not easy. A lot of uh, activist groups have fallen by the wayside, but PETA makes sure to stay relevant by using the right people in the ad campaigns, like me, using attention-getting devices and not being complacent. They never sit back and rest on their laurels. It just takes a lot of ad campaigns and a lot of sinking in to, you know, to shock people out of their habit because we're so comfortable in our habits, no matter how destructive they might be. Animals don't have a voice. And to have someone like Tim Gunn, who is so lovable by the public and by the media, uh, speaking on behalf of animals, uh, it definitely will make everyone take notice and pay attention.